and here we are at First State Lane's Junior Singles Classic Junior Division. I'm Gary Trumbor. With me is Brandon Moon, competitor on last year's Junior Singles Classic. Our first bowler, Stephen Cuff. And not starting off well. Five, seven, split. This match here is one of the best matches ever that I've ever seen. It's going to be a low shot by Steve Cuff. In the first, he gets an eight. There is no handicap in this match. Both bowlers came into the tournament with the same average. To Kelvin Townsend. Both bowlers, by the way, from first state. Calvin gets himself a strike to start it off. As Gary said earlier, this is a scratch matchup. These two have been talking to each other ever since they found out that they were going to be on TV when this, after this tournament took place. Both of them seem to think that they are going to win. And Calvin gets a double to start off. And the, luck. Good, and the qualifying for the match, Steve Cuff with his handicap had an 8-15 series and to Calvin 7-36. Week after week, when these two see each other, I'm gonna beat you on TV. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. TV's here, and so far, the Calvin's winning in the second frame, but the game isn't over over yet. And Steve seems to think different. He wants to win. He's tempted to win. And a good shot by Steve Cuff. <laughs> it's their destiny to win. There must be a winner, and Steve. He's still in the game here in early going. Steve himself has had a very good year in bowling. He, the biggest thing he had, the National Coca-Cola Championship. And he's a state qualifier heading out to Las Vegas for the National Championships. $1,200 scholarship winner. Also won the Julia Nelson, first annual Julia Nelson scholarship tournament in the TNBA league. And Steve is having a little problem here today. And here's to Kelvin coming up in the third on a double. Whoa. Four six for DeKelvin. Saw this shot too many times today. It's a very difficult split. Brandon, considering you're going to be bowling shortly and seeing the way the lanes are, what are you looking forward to in your match? I'm not sure it's possible, but I'm hoping I can keep, I'm hoping the oil line will stay the same because we are kind of bought it out though. It won't go straight a lot. So if there's enough oil just to keep my ball from hooking around the corner, I think I'll be just fine. And to Kelvin coming up in the fourth, 26 pin lead at this point. Yes, he's come to play today. Good strike by the Calvin in the fourth frame. 66 with the strike. Not counting his next two balls. And Steve with the 30. And, the and a good ball Calvin by Anchors Steve. With a strike. Steve's been bowling three to four years. He's 14 years old. And he has a birthday coming up next month. Fourth. And a double for Steve to get himself back in the game. That's the fifth frame. We'll be back with more right after these words. And we're back with DeKelvin Townsend, 15 years old. 
His mother is Cheryl. What got him interested in bowling? A friend was bowling, and it looked like fun. Been bowling for three years. He bowls in the Youth Adult League and the TNBA League at First State. And he misses the 2-4. That could make the game interesting. Calvin is 60. Calvin is double, but not the next two balls for Stephen Cuff. Stephen's brother and father both got him interested in bowling. And Calvin comes back with a strike after the miss. He's got 82 in the fifth. Steve has 30 with a double. So it's a close game. Good ball by Steve. Just a few pins between the two right at this moment. But the Calvin is on a strike. Steve needs a spare to keep himself close to the action. And he made it. Good spare by Steve. And we've got a three pin game at this point, Brandon. This match is very close and Steve is up in the seven frame. Charles by three, but this shot of help. Put that one out a little bit too far. It's not trailing anymore, but he he left an easy enough spare to make. Got not pulling it seventh frame yet, but one of the things that you notice about Steve when he's bowling is he talks to himself quite a bit while he's up there. Which is Getting himself organized as to what he wants to do. And we have a close match. To Kelvin here can make it not a close match. If he gets a strike. And he does. Gets that double. Gets that double. Puts him in the lead. Pushing Cuffy a little bit. Yes, and a turkey by DeKelvin. He's not having any luck with spares, but when you get five out of eight strikes, you're in pretty good shape. Actually, six out of eight. Yeah, you could afford to miss one or two spares here. Oh! <laughs> he was definitely robbed on that shot. What happened on that? Did we see that? We will be back with more after we take a look at this shot. Give it. Okay, after looking at the replay, we've decided that the pin did fall. Steve gets a strike. And he gets one, a, a double. double. <laughs> a little bit of luck on that one. That one fell, definitely. And DeKelvin comes up. On lane two. And a strike for DeKelvin. That's four in a row. He's on fire. A lot of water That's to put this fire out. That's one of the interesting things, Brandon, in a televised match, one game match, anything can happen. Sometimes you're hot and sometimes you're not. And DeKelvin is definitely hot today.
This is the highest scoring match we've had on TV today. That one way out there. Well, he's got himself a good deuce. Excellent game. Yeah, a little bit too excited too early. But he still has a good game, like Gary mentioned. And he does have the victory in hand. And a good game by DeKelvin, 2.15. And by the way, that is without handicap. Steve Cuff having a good game. He's way over his average, but just not good enough. It's been a really, really exciting tournament. Steve loves tournaments, by the way. He likes the competition. And in some tournaments, you can win money. He also likes that scholarship money. Okay, made despair. He's got himself a good game. He did lose the match, but he does have himself a very good game. He's got a 180 something. Which in any other match we had today would have been enough to win. Including our top 10 scratch matches. Put that one out, 181. Make that 182 to 215. To Kelvin Townsend, our champion, the Junior Singles Classic, Junior Division. We'll be back with more after these words.